The people of East and West Sipik are calling on the government and the developer of the Frida River Mine to consult the people on environmental impacts of the project. They are threatening not to sign the mine development agreement if the government and the developer continue without consulting the people on the environmental impacts of the project. This was made known by a long-serving Mapric MP and a senior statesman, Sir Peter Luce, in a media conference held in Port Moresby today. Raymond Guineo reports. Representing half a million of the people of East and West Sipic, Sir Peter Luce says they are planning to shut down the Frida River mine if the national government continues with the signing of the mining development agreement. To date, Sir Peter claims that there was no proper consultation carried out with the people in terms of the environmental impact the mine will have, especially on lives of the people living along the Sipic River. Kabali, I'm going to go to the I'm going to go to the river. I'm going to go to water. I mean, people are some people on all shipping people. I wouldn't like my fish blow in die, Maria blow in die, all the time they burn up. He was supported by senior lawyer Alois Jarawai. The Sipic River is the lifeline to more than 30,000 people who totally depend on the river for washing, drinking, as well as fishing and transporting goods and services from the main commercial township of Angorom. If we allow the mine to so much as dispose of a bit of cyanide into the water or mercury into the water will be a human tragedy. It will be a disaster. And the Sipic people, as you know, are a bit more aggressive than the Western province people when it comes to that. Mr. Jerawai and C. Peter Luz are calling on the government for a proper consultation with the people for the development of the Frida River mine. By now, government, you must you know, can sign the Mwambla something. I must hand it to the people of the Pitin, the Sassanian Pastor, or the INM, can talk to them and can sign it. Raymond Guineo. NBC National News, Port Mosby.